What's up, fam? It's your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk, one little short one just for you. This is going to be about um, a young officer. His name is Dylan Harrison, 26 years old, from Dudley, Georgia. He's been working his first shift for the Alamo Police Department, right? His first shift, first day on the job. And what happens to him? He gets smoked, right? He gets smoked by the guy. Uh, I'm going to try to find a dude named who did it here. Who hit him? But it said the guy's 43 year old guy named Damon Ferguson. He's also from Alamo, Georgia, right? Had a 30 hour manhunt for him, looking for the, um, the police officer killer, right? But they say this here that um, it all happened from a. I guess he stopped over and arrested him or pulled him over. Let me find the exact thing that fam. Okay, it says it happened over. Alleged committed traffic violation. He added that um, Harrison, the new cop, the first day on his first day on the goddamn on force, his first shift, first time even clocking in, he gets an incident with the man, right? Okay, and on the first day job, what he's doing, he's using his um his spray. He, he sprayed him up, I guess, right? So I guess homeboy got mad at that shit. They're like, "Hello, fuck that! I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna retaliate." You know what I'm saying? I'm going to retaliate on this guy who um, sprayed him. You know? It's a sad situation where, because, you know, the officer Dylan, he got a little six year old kid as a family, right? You know, he got a family. And so is um, the, the guy that killed him has a family. But the whole thing about it is, um, I don't know what's going on. I can't really say what really happened so much inside there. But he's, he's, charged, he's been charged with um, first degree murder and stalking of. Um, a police, a police officer, right? Like, wow. You know what I'm saying? That's some crazy shit there, though. But like I'm saying, some traffic violation, I guess the dude, they let him go. He wasn't locked up for a while, you know what I'm saying? But he came back, you know, shot his ass up. You know what I'm saying? No, he didn't spray. He used his taser on him. His first time on the, on the job, he used his taser on a man, right? So therefore, homeboy said, fuck that shit. I'm going to come back. I'm going to get your ass. And that's what really happens. It might not be correct. We're not saying it's correct. But this was going to start happening more and more. More and more and more. I'm surprised it happened every goddamn day with some cop getting get murdered for, for bullshit they do. These pigs do anything that they want to do. You know what I'm saying? But once they get killed or hit, it's all a big thing. You got everyone talking about it all, oh, this and that. You know, like, he was a hero. He's left behind by these people, this and that. But don't put that same attention on when these goddamn crooked pigs... Kill people. You know what I'm saying? Kill people every damn day. They don't, they don't think about that shit. You know what I'm saying? What well, the first thing they do is try to make the person look bad that they killed. It could be a traffic violation, any goddamn thing. They will still dig into his records. Oh, he got busted with a loose joint back in 1988 in high school. Some stupid shit like that. Just try to make you look bad. Put the focus on you and deflect the attention off their fucking crazy ass damn pigs. Right? You know saying? I'm not saying that um this officer... Was a bad cop. I can't say that. But his first day on the job, using tasers, hey, I put like this here. He used tasers on the first job. What else he would have done? He probably killed that goddamn man. So I tell like this here. You didn't see no goddamn tears of sympathy coming from Uncle No Punk eyes when I hear about some pig getting popped. Sorry. Sorry. Once I start seeing them putting even a little bit of effort of the families that they killed, you know what I'm saying? You'll see them when they, when an officer kills a um a person, if if it's wrong, they know it's wrong. Do you see these cops collectively, you know, saying we are sorry to the victim's family, the moms, the wives, things like that? No, they say stay back. They don't have no goddamn they put their hands back, just let it ride. So fuck that dude. Let this shit goddamn ride. Like I say this, I don't wish nothing bad on no goddamn human being. But like this here, hey, no justice, no peace. No justice, no fucking peace. As long as these crooked ass pigs can beat people, kill people, plant dope on people, keep people locked away for fucking years, you know what I'm saying? Fuck these motherfuckers. Now I'm gonna jump to the other goddamn one I saw. Um, the story was these cops in um, I forget the city was in Ohio. The city in Ohio. This dude's a par paralegic. He kept walking. He helped to get inside the car. Right? Police pulls behind him. They didn't write that, oh, he was coming from a suspected drug house. What the fuck do you mean suspect? You're the goddamn cops. You should know if it's a drug, drug house or not. See, that's what these devil's trying to do. Come some kind of bullshit just to ease their way out of shit, right? 
right? So they probably had the dog trying to smell. They couldn't smell no weed. Then they went to search the car. Anyway, the guy's telling him, I'm paraplegic. I cannot get out the car. He's telling the cop this old girl, I'm paraplegic. I'm sure the paraplegic has some kind of ID. The dumbass cop, the stupid fucking pig, give an actual ID, say he's a paraplegic or some shit. I said, okay, you're a paraplegic. Show me some kind of handicap ID, motherfucker. Show me some kind of handicap on a car window or something like that. Show me something. You know, once he showed me that, they're cool. Hands back. He can't be pulling no goddamn paraplegic out of the goddamn car. You could damn the spiral, everything more, and stuff like that. But this sorry ass pig, him and a him and a black pig, a white pig and a black pig. You know, they had a little Sambo on one, and they try to say the Sambo one pulled him out there when the goddamn um, the chess camera show that the white dude was pulling him, pull him by his dreads out the goddamn car, out his dreads and drag him out the goddamn thing. What kind of humiliation is that shit? This fucking cop right there, he deserved what the fucking other goddamn cop did. Get his ass popped too. Won't be no goddamn sympathy. That's what I say. There's no sympathy for these motherfuckers. You're all in the goddamn same game. You black ones too. Fuck them too. You know what I'm saying? Because they sit there and watch the white cop pull a goddamn guy. He'll say, oh, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me handle this. You no, know, try to jump in. Just try to save the brother. Oh, speak up for the brother. These fucking black cops are worse than the goddamn white cops to me. Why can they sit there and watch that shit? They too much fun cow to fucking speak up. And the ones that do speak up, what happened to them? They get shunned. You know, they shun them like off oh, oh, the police force, things like that. Fuck the police force, nothing but a goddamn big ass gang. That's just the way it is. Like I said before, 90% of cops ain't shit to me, 10% of some good ones. Cause I met some good cops in my life, they're real cool. But the ones out there, hey, you can't pick them, you can't pick this one, pick that one, you gotta put them on the same game. It's like, hey, if there was just something, point towards it, put, like, see, you point toward the police station, police, police department. They're all one big game. You can't say, oh, but there's a few out there that are good. Maybe they are, but all those few speaking out, they ain't seen a guy thing, so they're on the same goddamn game. And for this cop there to fucking drag the brother out there by his dreadlocks, you no, know, a paraplegic dude there gets no sympathy, sue the ass, hope you hope to get some goddamn millions. This is the time there, you get your, you got to start getting lawyered up. Get your cameras out there and lawyer up. Once he falls, pull you over. Get your license and registration. Plead the fifth. Don't ask, answer no fucking more questions at all. Don't answer it and sit there. If they won't pull you out and get go crazy there, get that lost on ass. Have these fuckers pay for you. But the whole thing about it is these sorry ass pigs, you know what I'm saying? Once they do shit like that, they need to take that money from their pensions. And I bet these fucking faggot asses are tightened up. They won't do no more dumb shit like that more. They won't, they won't get losing their pension right now. If I, I do everything I want to do, I'm, 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 I'm going to keep my pension. I shoot this black motherfucker or smack this goddamn, um, this black grandma on the bed. They keep their goddamn pensions. But I tell you like this here. Public announcement. Second Amendment rights. You need to strap up all Americans. Get your weapons. I don't give a fuck who the person is. If someone's out there will try to hurt you or harm you, you blow their fucking head off. And I'm out there fair peace.